Okay, look, I'm sorry. I don't want to go out there and spam all the Canuck stuff, and there still is a lot more Canuck stuff to go ahead and talk about. Hamannick, he got Kyle Burrows in there. There's a few things out there in Canuck land, but this, this deserves its own video. The Vancouver Canucks have signed Tucker Pullman to an expected $2.5 million contract, AAV, for four years. Are you kidding me? This guy's going to be making 2.5 for four years? What? Now, look, I'm a big fan of supporting the other hockey YouTubers in this scene. And Peg City Hockey, classmate of mine, and Geography 12, we had known each other literally since 8th grade in high school. We sat beside each other in school as well. He's a guy, Peg City Hockey, you might know about this guy. He's been raving about the Winnipeg Jets and their overall defensive woes throughout the season. And I've always been tuning in, paying attention, seeing who's good, who's bad. And Tucker Pullman is not one of those guys that I thought the Vancouver Canucks would go out there. Here are some of the advanced analytics from Evolving Hockey. Oh my goodness, the goals for per 60, the expected goals for. He's got good Corsi against per 60, but man... The team just does not do offensively well with Pullman out there on the ice. The expected goals against is slightly good, which is, I mean, it's okay. What you're getting out here for Tucker Pullman is a big right-handed defenseman, 6'4", 216, 28 years old. He's already technically in the prime of his career. He played in North Dakota in 2015 to 2017, so he's technically a teammate of Brock Besser and Troy Stetcher. He spent so much time up and down Manitoba, Winnipeg. He had 16 points in 57 games in 2019-20 in his first full year, which is pretty good, actually. But he had one, one assist in 39 games played this year. You take a look at the advanced analytics as to what Tucker Pullman has done. Wins above replacement number is 7%. He is a below average defenseman when it comes to putting results to paper. Doesn't do well offensively. Defensive numbers are not great. And the Vancouver Canucks are apparently giving this guy $2.5 million by four years. I get that he was overplayed in Winnipeg. They went out there and they played this guy a ton. A lot of people in the Jets Nation fan base will talk about how Tucker Pullman's play really suffered because they were giving him top minutes. He was their first pairing guy alongside of Josh Morrissey, and it just didn't work out. The Vancouver Canucks now have another guy that they're probably going to play at the top of their right side in Travis, ha or excuse me, not Travis Hamannick, in Tyler Myers. So I guess you're going to load up with the big guys on the right side, but man... 2.4 for Tucker Pullman, or excuse me, 2.5 for Tucker Pullman. This is what Reese Jessop said. He's the guy that used to work in the NHL. I believe it was for, there was one team, I completely forgot. It's not, it's not the tip of my tongue, but like, I cannot think of it right now. Tucker Pullman, big, gritty, right-handed defenseman. That's an average H defender, and he hurts you offensively. He is fine if he's coming in around a million AAV to be on your third pair, playing the number four role in an injury pinch as well. Expecting a little bit more out of him would not be smart. This guy literally worked in the NHL, so, I mean, there is some validation to their opinion. Tucker Pullman, man, it's just... These are the contracts, dude. These are the kinds of contracts. Let's say Tucker Pullman, he goes back to, I don't know, 16-point form, 16 in 57 games. Okay, what if you do the math on that? 16 divided by 57 multiplied out by 82. Do the math on that. Hey, 23 points in a year. Projected 23 points in 2019-20 over a full 82-game sample. That's pretty good for a guy that would be making 2.5. But if he fizzles out, plays the way that he did this year, one assist, 39 games, and he was getting, like, top two minutes, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. If it was one year, I could be like, okay, well, we'll see how this experiment goes. But, like, four years, dude. Oh, boy, four years. It's a long time, man. It's a long time. I get that he was a Brock Besser teammate, but that's a long time. I'll say this right here, though. I always have to make this disclaimer. If Tucker Pullman is fantastic, if he goes to Vancouver, he is amazing. You know, he's the best defenseman on the team. He outplays Tyler Myers, and he earns a number one spot on the right side. I'll eat my words. I'll talk about how it's wrong. I'm going to make videos praising the heck out of this guy because I love spreading the positivity when Vancouver Canucks are putting up performances that deserve it. But for Pullman, man... Just knowing what I know about the Winnipeg Jets and taking a look at how their fan base has reacted to this guy the past few seasons, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. Dude, 2.5 AAV for four years? Oh boy, oh boy. And we still have Hamannick to talk about as well. Kyle Burrows too. Lots of stuff going on in Canuck land, so I'm going to leave you off with this right here. 
probably try to uh, shift the energy, I guess, for the next few videos. Talk to me in the comments what you think about Tucker Pullman coming to Vancouver. I hope you enjoyed this. Bishop Ross 99. And bye.